Okay, everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about how to deal with objects on inclines, specifically when we have these type of questions, when the problem is asking you to draw the force diagram and next apply the Newton's second law to find these unknown tensions or the accelerations, people have a hard time figuring out what should be the force of gravity, mg's, component along the incline and perpendicular to the incline. Specifically, I'm talking about right here, whenever we have a, an object on an incline, people really good at putting the, or drawing the normal force and force of gravity always downward straight down. And they pick the X and Y coordinates. Now, next step, trying to apply the Newton's second law along the x direction or the y direction, force of normal is aligning with the y direction, but force of gravity is not. We have to figure out what are the components of force of gravity either along the negative y direction, to talk about the net force along the y direction, to talk about the net force along the x direction, how much is this component? If we knew this angle, it's going to be really easy. We can use the force components. So in this video, you will see I am doing two steps. First one, I am thinking about this triangle right here, this orange triangle. And in this triangle, we have the given theta angle. We have the normal force here. We have the force of gravity. Again, in this triangle, we have the angle theta given and perpendicular 90 degrees. So 180 should be the total angle. We can figure out this angle should be 90 minus theta. That's the first step. Next, I am going to draw another triangle. The one I'm showing right here. In here, I am drawing from the tip of this arrow a perpendicular line to this slope right here. That way this angle becomes 90. Our previous angle we found in the previous step, this is 90 minus theta. That brings us this angle to be theta, the given same as the given angle. Now, the Z angles we are going to use here, right here, these guys. If this angle is theta, this is going to be theta. Now we can figure out the force component, force of gravity components to be mg cosine theta and mg sine theta components. mg cosine theta here, mg sine theta. Again, details. When we figure out this angle to be the same given angles theta or alpha, we have the force given towards the angle alpha it should be the mg cosine alpha. Now you have the force of normal along the positive y direction, mg cosine alpha in the negative y direction. It's easy. Now the next step, apply Newton's second law. Away from the angle mg sine alpha, that's the only force along the x direction. You can apply Newton's second law if net equals m times a. And this could be the problems, just one slope on the ma mass on the slope, moving in an acceleration, there we go. All you have to worry about what are the forces acting on. The normal force, force of gravity, but now we know it has two components, one along the slope, one perpendicular to the slope. If the surface had friction opposite to the direction of the motion, we will have the friction force. Sometimes we will have one mass on the table, on the slope, other mass is hanging. Still, when you focus on this guy right here on the slope, the forces, there will be a tension force, the normal force, force of gravity has components. In this case, I assume there is no any friction. That's why I did not include any friction force. Also, sometimes people find these problems are really complicated, but focus one at a time. When you focus on this mass M, angle theta is equal to 45, no matter what is the number of the angle, 30, 40, 60, whatever, 
all you do same step as the previous force of tension, the tension force, normal force, force of gravity components. I again assumed there's no any motion, no friction. And also right here, this guy, same as the previous one, only the orientation is different, but still force of normal, tension force, and force of gravity components always. Mg sine theta component is along the slope, perpendicular to the slope, you have the Mg cosine theta component if these are the given angle in either slope. Okay, I hope this helps.